Welcome back and today we're talking about Kuma 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 Bear episode 6 So like always, let's just jump into it Episode 6 of Kuma 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 Bear was a really heartwarming, very happy episode. And while it was awesome and I loved it and I liked all the characters that were involved, it kind of raised some red flags because to me, I feel like every time we get such a happy episode, it's going to be uh, balanced by something dark, something tragic coming up. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I really would hate to see Yuna be sad or heck even Fina or Shuri, especially after this episode and how their life has turned around, especially since like episode two where we met Fina, like her life is completely a 180. Uh, they're happy. I mean, her mother is healthy. Heck, this episode started off with Termina, Fina's and Shuri's mother being proposed to by Jets. Very happy, but before we jump into the rest of this episode, let me remind you to like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. We are about to reach a thousand subs. Really excited about that. But let's talk about Kuma Kuma Bear. That's what we're here for. Uh, so yeah, essentially the episode starts off with Tirmina being proposed to by Jens. Very happy, and yet not even 30 seconds later, we see Fina kind of freaking out because they had their first fight as a couple. Essentially, Termina is really worried about Jens' health. Uh, she doesn't want him eating like a lot of ketchup or a lot of honey. You know, stuff that would make somebody's like cholesterol spike up. I don't know, but. Termina is just worried about Jens and his eating habits and they gotta get into a little a little couple's fight No big deal. Everybody has those but Fina and Shuri their children. They really don't understand that kind of stuff So they came up to Yuna for help to get the uh, snow flower Essentially, we, we learned that you know Fina's mother her father and Jens, they used to be in a party together. They used to go on adventures together, right? Uh, really wholesome uh, party. They, they really work close. And essentially, Fina wants to get that snow flower because she remembers her mother telling her the story about how the whole group found that flower. And it would be a nice memory to have. So they set out on this adventure. And, you know, it was just cute seeing Shuri kind of being exploring the outside world. Maybe this is her first time going outside of the city. And, you know, she's eating all these different fruits that she She's not supposed to eat because they're not ripe. She's over here poking a bee's nest. It was really funny. It was really cute. A, a wholesome, cute episode. I, I really did uh, like this episode because it, it was just heartwarming, right? Now, once they get to their destination, long and behold, there is no snow flower. Plot twist, uh, no snow flower. So essentially, you know, Fina and Shuri are kind of worried because if they can't get this flower, they won't be able to fix uh, Jens and Termina's relationship, which is not really the case, right? Again, their children. Um, I feel like Yuna was kind of just humoring this, right? Because Yuna kind of understand that they're adults and kids should not really interfere in, in the couple's relationship. Again, to me, that fight just seemed like so, like, it wasn't even a big deal. It was about ketchup on eggs, right? Like, no big deal at all. I'm pretty sure the adults kind of thought of it as no big deal as well. But nonetheless, Yuna really wants to see Shuri and Fina be happy. She really does look up to them like little sisters, right? So Yuna, again, remember, she doesn't have any family. So I feel like while this episode was really happy and heartwarming and stuff like that, when you look at it from Yuna's perspective, it's kind of like a sad episode, right? Because even though when we saw Yuna be on Earth, she only cared about the game and stuff like that, we never got to meet Yuna's parents. So we don't know if Yuna is missing them. I'm guessing she is because Yuna is not a heartless person. So I'm guessing that she is missing her parents and she really doesn't have any family in this world. So it's really sad when you kind of think about it from her perspective. And that's why she's going out and helping so many people. That's why she's, you know, happy for Termina being married to Jens. She does feel like she's the older sister to Fina and Shuri. And it's really awesome. Uh, especially when they were making that pudding uh, scene. I like pudding. Uh, it looked good in this anime as well. I mean, I don't know. Again, every time they show anime on food, we had it earlier today, Noblesse, with that Noblesse episode. But it just looks so good. i never seen eggs look any better. Uh, they look amazing. I don't have eggs at my house. I have to go grocery shopping. But it just made me want to eat eggs. Uh, I love breakfast food. So it looked awesome. But yeah, even the food in this episode looked amazing with the pudding and stuff like that. When Shuri and Fina were making it. And, you know, it was just 
a wholesome uh, scene. And even when Yuna went outside by herself at night, because she put Fina and Shuri to sleep, which she was thinking about it, right? She was thinking about family. That's why she considers, uh, you know, Shuri and Fina to be uh, her little sister. So that's really awesome. Um, you know, hopefully nothing bad happens to those two, because I would, I would really hate to see Yuna have to go through some type of loss that would be anywhere close to Yuna, I mean, to uh, Shuri or Fina. Like, if imagine if one of those two characters were to get ill or sick or pass away or anything like that. Like, it would just be traumatic for Yuna. Now, I'm sure this anime is not going to go to those darker tones. Again, ever since episode one, everything has been happy and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to get sad, but you never know. Again, this episode was way too happy for my taste because I feel like they're, they're just going to bring it down. I feel like they were trying to get the viewers really happy, really comfortable. And in an episode or two, they're going to take everything away and it's going to hit like a truck. So I'm just, I'm just kind of, you know, bracing myself for this just in case, because I really would hate to see Yuna being any type of sad. Now, the last bit of the episode, we see that Yuna was thinking about everybody that she has ever helped. She kind of made pudding for all the people in the orphanage. That was awesome. She gave a uh, putty to Lord Cliff, again, a goaded person for what happened in the last episode when they had the embezzlement uh, scandal going on where, you know, he didn't know that orphanage was not getting the, uh, the amount of money that they needed to sustain themselves. So I love Lord Cliff. I hope we get to see, see more of him because I really want to see his character. I love the character, especially after the last episode. But essentially, when Yuna was at his house giving him the pudding, uh, it's going to set up the next episode, like kind of like the next uh, adventure for Yuna. We see that uh, Lord Cliff wants Yuna to take uh, Noah to the capital. And I'm sure the capital is going to be a whole different world. I think this is where we are going to see the uh, stuck up nobles, the nobles that don't care about the peasants and stuff like that. So Yuna might run into some trouble with the law, maybe. Who knows? Uh, or, you know, she might help the king out, whoever, whoever that is. We might get to meet that person. She might help the king or queen out and she gets even more power. Uh, also, the last thing I want to talk about is the whole pudding thing. To me, ever, ever, like every second that Yuna was making that pudding i was thinking like man she's about to make a lot of money like she's already making a lot of money with that eggs even though she's not getting the capital for that it's more for like the orphanage but you know the whole pudding thing she can sell that idea and make a lot of money because it's something that that town does not have right now so overall awesome episode very lovely uh i'm bracing myself for the truck to come in and just take everything that we love away because it was too happy for my liking she's gonna head to the capital i cannot wait to see how much bigger that city is going to be and how the politics are gonna function in that town maybe we'll get to hear about the bloody bear all the way over there in the capital where like she's done so so great uh stuff in this town that it kind of uh, went over to the capital and the king and queen are awaiting her arrival because they want to get to meet the bloody bear uh, but yeah let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below and like always leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode